Water sucks. Gatorade is better. What? Hydration is really crucial for effective performance. Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too, idiot. You're, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Water is life. Water is what lubricates everything that's going on in our systems. We are mostly water. So a really good habit to get into is having a goblet of water of some kind that's always at your desk that you can drink from at any moment. Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. H2O. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. No, it really, really sucks. You don't mean it. You're bad people. There's a lot of advertisement for a lot of sugary energy drinks, which can be fun, but they're really not the best for our body. Water should be the base, where you drink water whenever you're thirsty. If you want a tasty recreational beverage, by all means, go enjoy that, but exercise some moderation. Water is really the core of your intake over the course of the day. If you combine popular sport drink A, which has lots of sugar, electrolytes, and caffeine, diuretic, then you're not going to have the best experience in the world. Electrolytes. Electrolytes are a thing. They're not just something that the big soda companies came up with. They are actually a thing. Actually, it's, it's uh, electrolytes and there are certain carbohydrates, specifically sugars. These help with your absorption of water into your body. Now, great. Drinks you will find on the shelf of your local supermarket won't just have electrolytes. They will, for instance, have caffeine. Caffeine is a diuretic, usually defined as makes you pee. But what does, does that actually mean? At the cellular level, it means your cells reject water. That then goes into your system and you pee. So empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot. It becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or creep or drip or crash. Be water, my friend. There we go, chefing with Shaft. Man, what are we cooking this evening, Shaft? Well, guys, we want to talk about how important it is to stay hydrated when playing StarCraft. But everyone complains it's the same complaint what is it? What is the number one complaint about water? It tastes bad. Or it doesn't taste at all. So, today we're going to talk about how to make your water actually taste good. Now, we're just using plain old tap water. This is actually, we're using Voss uh, water bottles. So this is actually plain old tap water. I've uh, used these bottles many, many a time. Just wipe them down, clean them out, just shake a little water in there, pour it out, and you're good to go. Fill them up about three quarters of the way. And I like these glass bottles. They just refrigerate really well. They're transportable. They've got a nice solid uh, dinking to them. Like they'll take a beating and I don't know about you, but when I'm playing, I can knock some shit over. So that's always, always a good thing. Fruits and vegetables are both good for you and they taste good. So we're going to make a couple of recipes and a lot of people asked for strawberry basil. Um, water, that's what the poll said. So that's what we're going to start with first. I'm just going to show you guys the best ways to cook these things, how to, how to make the water, and we'll just go from there. So really what you want to start with is your strawberries. And um, I like to use, like, a lot of people will just cut the head of the strawberry and start cutting there. I actually like to hold the head of the strawberry and then just start slicing. It really holds the strawberry together. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Uh, and you'll get these nice even strokes. Now, you can cut it uh, thin sliced like this if you want to. Really, the way you want to look at the, the chopping is when do you want to drink it? If you're going to put it in this bottle and leave it overnight, maybe you want to just like quarter the strawberry because the surface area of the fruit is going to break down more if there's more surface area and you'll get a really strong flavor quicker if you cut it real small. So we want to drink these in a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna leave them, you know, what's that, 16th of an inch slices, and just go ahead and throw some strawberries in there. How many strawberries are you throwing today, Dylan? Uh, what are the other ingredients we're adding this again there, buddy? We are doing strawberry, basil, and if I can find some lemon juice, we're gonna do some lemon juice in here, because as a kid who kind of grew up on 
nothing but two liter soft drink soda. Um, I like a little acid, a little burn in my beverage. Might be why uh, I was diagnosed diabetic at 10, I don't know, but uh, trying to eat a little healthier. So this has got some personal kind of impact for me. Um, Fair amount of strawberry, good amount of strawberry in mine, please. Also, might I get a strawberry from you there, buddy? There's a big dark one there that I'm eyeballing toward the corner. Right, so we've got a decent amount of strawberry there. We're gonna add one more. We'll add that big one. Mmm. Yeah, these things are so good. And right here on the edges again. Totally coming and stealing another one of these motherfuckers. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> uh, no, that's not a good one. Where's a good one? Yeah. Folks, in case you didn't know, this is what a good strawberry looks like. You're looking for a nice dark one like that. It's if you not see it's got the white on it like that, I don't recommend eating it yet. Leave it out in the sun for a few days. That's kind of the lesson with strawberries. Got mint here. This is going to be our basil. And a lot of people get a little intimidated when it comes to basil. Um, I guess, you know, cooking with something that looks like uh, it grew on a tree outside. Not really sure, sure why, but my first job was actually in an Italian kitchen, so this stuff's like second nature. About as common of a table ingredient as salt or pepper. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So what you do is you kind of organize them from the biggest one in the back smaller ones up front and then just take here fold once fold again and create basically a little cigar and with the stems all facing one direction hold it right here and you just want to do these little one little slicing you don't want to damage the tissue any more than you have to so just one firm cut whatever you do do not saw this you are going to damage the plant you do not want to do that and it'll come out with these nice little lovely sheets and rings like this again if you uh want a really powerful basil flavor you might uh might cut this a little smaller i think for our purposes here this will do nicely Once you get a good amount of the ingredients in there, just go ahead and give it a good little shake. Flip it upside down and see. Uh, and add. do you apply the lemon before or after you let it sit? Well, I'm actually going to apply the lemon here in just a moment. I was just getting an idea of is that the ratio of strawberry to basil I want? I think it is. So. See if we got any lemon here. All right, guys. So it looks like I'm a little out of lemon, but lime juice works just as well. Get creative. This is one. Oh, found a strawberry. <laughs> Point the camera down. Whoops. <laughs> Remember that strawberry Simba didn't eat? She doesn't like strawberry. Oh, sorry, now. She doesn't like strawberry. Simba, we have a mild do. But anyways, lemon lime juice. This is one of those like cabinet cleaners. It's a cabinet magnet. All you gotta do, go find out what you got in your pantry, what you got, maybe something about to go spoiled. Gives it a little bit of a stronger flavor. And a little bit of this acid goes quite a bit a long way. And yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So we'll go ahead and fill the sun up with water. And and after giving it a maybe day or so in the uh, in the fridge, this is a nice lovely little strawberry basil water that we're left with. Notice I don't use ice personally, but if you like ice, feel free to add it.
Mmm, I really love those basil strips. They just give it a nice spicy note at the end of a sweet and sour, clean. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good drinking, guys. Remember how important it is to stay hydrated. It will help your mental clarity, help you uh, react in exactly the right way. Just remember, a lot of those times you think you're hungry, you're actually probably thirsty just from drinking and eating way too much salt throughout the day. So a good glass of water goes a very long way. There's some fruit in here to help keep your vitamin C up. And other than that, guys, good gaming. If you like this content and want to see more like it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel or check out any of these two videos on screen now. You can follow me at The Only Shaft on Twitter or if you really want to help support this channel, please visit us on patreon.com slash polygonsc2. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.